Kelvin has developed a new STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, series of activities that are dedicated to the field of mechanical engineering. The activities are economically designed, uh, so you can have 30 different possibilities, 30 different activities for children to do in a classroom in one lab kit. The kit comes with instructions as well as materials to do the 30 different activities. The kit comes with a booklet which gives the students 10 different challenges, engineering challenges to design. These challenges are all real world based challenges. And the challenges are rated one through five. A uh, number five challenge is the most difficult. A number one challenge is the least difficult. Teachers can assign students challenges or students can be allowed to select the challenges that they want to uh, attempt to so find solutions for. The kit also comes with support information for the student. Information on mechanisms and mechanical engineering and what a mechanical engineer does. Background information on simple machines, on calculating mechanical advantage. Information on cams and pulleys and gear trains. Technical information on how to put together um, different types of cam and different types of pulley configurations as well as linkages, how to use to create parts, how to create uh, joints and hinges, and how to assemble the cardstock. And there was also a teacher guide with sample solutions to each of the problems. Now we all know there are many solutions to any problem. This booklet gives the teacher one solution for each of the 10 challenges that are presented to the teacher. And it also offers suggestions for content, what the teacher should be teaching along with the activity. Now let's look at some of the activities. The activities either will be housed within a cube, a cardboard cube, or a cardstock panel. The teacher and the students are provided with pre-copied panel sheets, grid sheets, and pre-copied flat developments for the boxes. They have to be glued, either spray glued or um, rubber cement onto the cardstock. Uh, the kit does not provide the glue for this. Here are some of the challenges. Let's look at this challenge, first of all. Here the students are asked to change rotary motion, motion in a circle, with linear motion. What they're, be asked, what they're being asked to do is create a me mechanism that when you turn this rod, these two rods will move past each other in a straight motion. Watch. Now the students have no idea how this is done. What they'll do is they'll sit down, they'll start making some sketches of some possible solutions, and then they will fabricate the solution using the parts that are given to them. And to show you the inside, you'll see there's a series of pulleys and a rubber band to place things in tension, and there's uh, axles and wheels, all, all simple machines combined together to form mechanisms to achieve this challenge. Here's a challenge that's mounted on a, uh, a panel. The students are asked to change rotary motion into oscillating reciprocal motion. Reciprocal meaning back and forth, oscillating meaning following a curve. Okay, and here we go. Now this solution is a series of linkages that are uh, fabricated on the back of the cardstock using create um, parts. Here we have a design problem where the students are asked to create first a gear train where they can change the direction of the follower gear by using an idler gear. So when you turn the input gear to the right, the idler gear forces the output gear or the follower gear to turn to the right. You can also have the students calculate the mechanical advantage by counting the number of rotations of the gear. Here we have a problem uh, connected to pulleys. I want the students to design a pulley system so when you turn one pulley, the other pulley turns in the opposite direction. And to do that, uh, we've created a belt which is crossed. Here we have a problem where the students are asked to change, again, rotary motion 
into up and down linear reciprocal motion, so both of these pegs move up and down uh, in different directions. Here we have changing rotary motion, again into reciprocating oscillating motion. The solutions to these problems will be found in the teacher's handout guide. This is the simplest of the activities where the students are asked to create uh, a system that will change, again, rotary motion into up and down reciprocal motion. And of course, uh, somewhere in here there's a cam. Here we have a challenge. Create a catapult that will launch a cotton ball the longest distance in the classroom and the student created this catapult system. Now, what makes it even more interesting is they can change the stop motion. They can place the stop either here, here, or here, changing the trajectory of the cotton ball coming off of the catapult. Here we have a system where we change, again, rotary motion into linear motion. By turning this crank, that wheel will move up. And you can see it's moving up nicely. And we use gears, and the students are asked to create a two-to-one ratio by creating a gear train that will increase the force applied to the bottom wheel. Here we have a changing linear downward motion to linear upward motion. And back. So as you can see, there are many different challenges for students to work on. They're all hands-on challenges. They all deal with mechanical engineering, mathematics, calculating mechanical advantage, the science of simple machines, um, and the science and the technology of designing products. What grades and what tools do they have to do to pull it together? Okay, this would be uh, designed for students probably grades 7 through 12. And once they glue the cardstock to the, to the paper, they have to fabricate it or assemble it? The yes, there are simple tools. You need uh, a hole punch, an awl, uh, a scissor, a utility knife. Um, practically 99% of the supplies are included. The only thing you have to put together are, are the tools. You have to assemble the tools yourself. It does not so come the with the kit. The tools don't supply them? Correct. They can be purchased from Calvin, but we don't supply them sure. with the kit. So you say... The parts are included, but not the tools. That's Correct. 10%. It's not the puncher. You don't supply the puncher or the scissor or the glue. The tools are all part of the available tools from the classroom. Correct. What you get are all the materials you need to actually fabricate each of these, not including the tools. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate it.